Nintendo has gone to war against emulation and demanded that Dolphin be removed from the Steam store. But that won't stop us, will it? Because this video will teach you how to install the Dolphin emulator on your Steam Deck. So get that finger out of your nose, wipe it off on the underside of your couch cushion when your mom isn't looking, grab your Steam Deck, and let's get a little Dolphin in our life, shall we? First, we need to boot it to desktop mode. So press the Steam button, go down to power, and then select switch to desktop, and then give your deck a minute to reboot. To download Dolphin, click this Discover icon down here to open up the software center, and then click the search bar, and then press the Steam and X buttons together to bring up the on-screen keyboard and type in Dolphin, and then click Install beside the Dolphin emulator. Wait for that to finish, and then close the software center. Now we need to add Dolphin to SteamOS by finding the Dolphin icon on the desktop or in the main menu, and then right-click on it with the left trigger and select Add to Steam. Now we can return to gaming mode by pressing the return to gaming mode button from the desktop. And you can find Dolphin in your Steam library, so just select that to start it up. To configure Dolphin, we're going to start by going to the Steam controller settings and change the layout template to keyboard and mouse. Then press X to apply the layout. First, we're going to choose a directory for our games. Press the config button, then go to the paths tab and click add. Here you can pick the place where you store your games. You could store your games on your SD card or download the bright tier deck, which is what I did. Close this window and you should see your games listed. One thing that we need to do at this point is set a save state hotkey. So click the options menu, click the hotkey settings, go to the save and load state tab and click save slot 1. Then quickly press the Steam button and X to bring up the keyboard and press the 1 button. After that's done, press the close button. Now we need to select the correct audio device in the settings menu by selecting the audio settings tab and then change the audio backend to cube B and then you can close this window. Now click the graphics button so that we can pick our graphics options. Here's the options that I chose. Change the back end to Vulcan, select start in full screen, and then pick the aspect ratio that you want, either 4x3 for the original ratio or 16x9 if you want a widescreen. And then under enhancements you can change your internal resolution. I think a 2x upscale is a good choice on the Steam Deck screen. If you're running in widescreen like I am, you'll want to enable this widescreen hack option. You can change any of this stuff later if you want to. And the rest of these options can stay as they are. Press start on the controller to exit this menu if you can't click the button down there. Now we need to set up the controller for gaming. So press the Steam button to get back into the controller settings and select the layout menu at the top and then go over to the Community Layouts tab and select this Community Config. GameCube on Steam Deck Radial Menu. Press X to apply that and go back to the app. And back at the Dolphin screen, select Controllers and then go up to the top beside Standard Controller and select Configure. In this window, in the device menu at the top left, you need to select this. SDL slash zero slash Microsoft Xbox 360 pad zero. And now we could set up our controls. So tap a button and then press the button that you want for that button. Set up your thumbsticks. It's all straightforward here. You can figure it out. Here's what mine looks like when I'm done. So tap close and then tap close again. And that's it. You're freaking done. So start up Dolphin, start up a game by tapping it and then click play. And you'll be playing your game. You can save your state by swiping up on the right trackpad, load your state by swiping right, exit the game by swiping down. <laughs> Not bad, right? There's a lot more that I could teach you about Dolphin, but we'll save that for another video. This sh should be enough to get you started. I also have an Emu Deck tutorial in the works, so get subscribed so you don't miss that. I hope you found this video useful. Consider supporting me on Patreon if you did. Click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. <laughs> That's it for me. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.